Hello, I'm Dr. Powell. Let's use binomial coefficients to find a non-recursive formula for a recursive formula for a sequence. Okay, so for starters, let's come up, let's have the sequence definition that's recursive. What if we have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus one plus n plus one and we know that a sub one is equal to two. Now, in order for this binomial coefficient trick to work, we need to know what a sub zero is. We need to be all the way back at the beginning. So to do that, we just re, um, reverse engineer this recursion to get back to a zero. So we think two being a one is equal to um, a zero plus one plus one, where that one is that one. So we see that a zero has to be zero. That's nice. So now we reuse the recursion right here to get the first elements of our sequence, starting at zero, and then we know the next one is two, and then the one after that. That's a zero, that's a one, then the one after that, a two, will be five using that, thinking of this as being two, which is a n minus one, plus the next index, n, which is two, plus another one. And we end up getting five. We go to the next one, three, and we think five plus three plus one. So it'd be nine. Go to the next one, a four, and we think nine plus four plus one, um, which nine plus four plus one, which would end up being uh, 14. Then what we do is we look at differences in the sequence. From zero to two, we have two. Two to five, we have three. From five to nine, we have four. From nine to 14, we have five. Then we look at the differences again of the differences. So these are the differences between successive ter consecutive terms. We look, at, we look at the differences of those. One, one, one. Now the differences of these, zero, zero. And if we keep going, we'll have zeros forever. We look at this line right here. That's our key. A sub n is going to be equal to these in a sum multiplied to binomial coefficients. n choose 0, n choose 1, n choose 2, and choose three and down forever. But we're, but it's gonna be zero after that. So it's just right here. And we see that it's two times n choose one plus one times n choose two. And we can think about what this means. This is n over one. Thinking of one as being how many factors in the top and the bottom. And on the top of the fraction, we start with n. The bottom of the fraction, we start with 1. Plus 1. Let's do the same thing here on the top. We have starting at n, and then we go down 1. And then the bottom, we have we start at 1, and we go up 1. And we have two factors on top and bottom, n choose 2. Just a mnemonic for remembering how to, how to write that out quickly with variables. So this, after simplified, we simplify it will be a nice formula that's non-recursive for the sequence. Now remember, you can always go back and watch this again. Just click replay.